Hey, what's up, Capture One Mafia? In this video tutorial, I'm gonna add a little bit of teal and orange to this landscape photo I took in the Canadian Rockies. And by the way, this photo will be available for download the raw file in case you want to play around with it. So make sure to check the description. What I'm first going to do is I'm going to go to the color editor here. I'm in the adjust section and I'm going to go to the blue here. So we already know or we can see there's a little bit of blue here. There's also a red because the colors are RGB. You just can't visualize it yet. But I'm going to change the hue of the blue to around this teal or indigo color. So you can see like a slight change in the sky here. I'm going to increase the saturation. Now you can see it a little bit better. And now I'm going to decrease the lightness or the luminance to show a little bit more of the sky or give it a more dramatic look. Now I'm going to go to the red channel and get that orange into this photo. So I'm going to change the hue, change it to orange. And it's a very subtle change here. You may not be able to even see it. Let me double check the before and after. Before and after. So let me increase the saturation. So there's a very subtle change in the mountains here by changing the hue and saturation. Let me decrease the lightness. See what happens. Not too much. I'll leave the lightness at zero. What I'm going to do is go to the yellow section here or the yellow hue. Change that to orange. Now we can see the leaves here or the trees change color. I'm going to increase the saturation and move the hue on the yellow a little bit. And let's see what I can do with the lightness. I'll keep the lightness the same. Orange here, I'll increase the saturation. So now let's take a look at the before and after of the image. So this is the before and this is the after. So we can definitely see a lot more orange in the mountains, a lot more orange in the trees here. Let's see if we can add even more orange to this image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the layers right here. I'm going to click on this plus sign. Whoops. Let me delete this here. I'm going to click here and I'm going to click on add new filled adjustment layer. And now I'm going to go to the color editor again and I'm going to go to the yellow, change the hue. So I'm doing like a double layer or a double color editor to get even more orange here. So I'm changing the hue, increase the saturation, go to the red hue, change it to orange. And now you can start to see this orange really pop up. I don't think I want to mess with this teal here. Actually, let me go to this teal hue or this indigo hue. Actually, it's cyan. I think it's the actual name. Let me increase the saturation. Not much is happening. Let me go to the blue. The blue, there is a change, but I think I'm just going to keep that at zero. So now this image looks a lot better. I'm going to go back to the original layer here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the clarity because this image does look a little bit washed out. Increase the structure. Now we can see a lot more detail in this image. And there's too much detail actually in the trees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset this clarity section here. Just reset the clarity and structure. And instead, I'm going to go and click on this adjustment layer here. I'm going to go to the AI masking. I'm going to click on this icon right here. And then I'm going to click on the mountain here. I think I think I want to add the structure and the clarity just to the mountain area. So I'm going to click on it. So that is selected. And to make sure I selected it correctly, I'm going to decrease the exposure here. And yeah, so that looks good. So I just reset the exposure. Now I'm going to go back to this clarity slider, increase the clarity, increase the structure. 
Now that looks a lot better. So this area of the image looks a lot more sharp or more detailed. And I don't want to overcook the trees here. Now I'll go back to the original image layer. And let me see here. I'm going to increase the dehaze or reduce some of this haze or debris in the sky here. Usually there's like forest fires around the area here. Dehaze really helps. Let's take a look here. I think I'll just keep it at 40 and then I'll add the classic vignette to this image. Just like that. I think that looks good enough. So let me get rid of this masking icon here and go to the select tool. And let's see the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. So by using the color editor, we were able to change the hues of this image to make it a little bit more teal or indigo and add a little bit more orange to the foreground and the mountains here. So this image looks pretty cool. Of course, there's a lot more corrections or adjustments we can make to this image. For example, like we can clean up this area right here. And this area looks a little bit dried out or a little bit washed out. It looks like there's just sand or gravel here. So that's like some more adjustments you guys can try. And just remember this image is available. The raw file is available for download. So make sure to check the uh, description. And if you enjoyed this video tutorial for Capture One, you know what to do. And as always, live easy, sleep breezy, and stay lovely.